हेलो फ्रेंड्स राधिका रवि कुमार यह सो वेलकम बैक लेट अस कंटिन्यू विद स्ट्रिंग ऑपरेटर्स ओके सो स्ट्रिंग ऑपरेटर्स नथिंग बट वेयर यू विल बी कंपेयरिंग टू फाइल्स और स्ट्रिंग वेरिएबल विल बी कंपेयरिंग वेदर द स्ट्रिंग इज इक्वल टू द आई मीन द स्ट्रिंग वेरिएबल इज इक्वल टू दैट द स्ट्रिंग वेरिएबल और यू विल बी चेकिंग वेदर द फाइल इज एम और हैविंग सम कंटेंट लाइक दैट फॉर दैट यू विल बी यूजिंग ऑल दी स्ट्रिंग ऑपरेटर्स so the string operators that are available is one is equal to then uh, not equal to then we have something called hyphen z then hyphen n and finally we have str okay so the first one is uh, equal to equal to is nothing but where uh, it will be comparing whether this dollar a is um, equal to dollar b sorry equal to dollar b we will be seeing whether this whatever content in this is equal to this If it is equal, then we know what will happen. So next is nothing but uh, the not equal to. It's same like equal to where we say dollar a is um, not equal to. So it's only used whenever this particular respective um, variable is having the string kind of uh, content. So um, dollar b. Okay. So these are the normally used uh, string operators. Next. we have something called hyphen z hyphen z how we'll be using it is um, sorry you make sure that you are enclosing these things with the uh, square brackets even when you are writing script this mandatory okay uh, see the um, hyphen z is nothing but um, we are going to say it like this hyphen z and we are going to say dollar a okay so what exactly this hyphen z will do is it will check whether if the given string size is zero whether see if when you say hyphen z dollar a that means it will check whether this dollar a is uh, having a size of zero if it is zero length then it will be returning true if the size is zero okay so that's what is hyphen z means make sure hyphen z means it's z zero okay if this content is having zero size then it will return true or it will return false just to check whether the string is uh, i mean the respective variable is uh, empty or not okay for that we'll be using this then we have something called hyphen n where this hyphen n can be used in the same way like hyphen z okay here we are going to say hyphen n and dollar a dollar a so what this will be doing is if this dollar a is having uh, non zero then it will return true it's just the opposite of the z1 so this is going to return true if the size is non zero okay so this is just uh, the different methods of uh, checking whether the given uh, variable or the given string is uh, having some you know some string or not whether the given variable is having some string or not okay so these are the different ways then finally we have something called str str is uh, mainly used like this we simply say dollar a so this what will do, uh, i mean we won't be prefixing it with any kind of str Uh, attribute or something we'll just say dollar a what exactly happens here is uh, it will check whether the str is like the string is empty or not if it is empty then it will return false okay so uh, this will return false if the str is empty okay these are the uh, string operators that are available in a uh, unix environment hope uh, you guys have understood if there any queries then please do mail me to plc equal dot informatica at gmail dot com not just unix if there are any queries on informatica plc equal or oracle sql then please do mail me uh, i'll try to revert to you back as soon as possible and uh, in the next tutorial we'll see what is the file test um, operators and uh, thank you very much for watching